Hi Libra, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back if you're a cyber angel and welcome if you're a new viewer. I hope you will subscribe and click on the bell on all and then you'll be notified when I go live or when new videos are uploaded. This is your reading for the 11th till the 17th of May 2020 and I'm using the Vice Versa deck and I'm using the Wildwood Tarot deck, the Animal Spirit de Oracle deck and the Surrender deck. If you would like a one-on-one -on -one, uh, reading then please contact me and you can find the information below this video or if you click on this little white circle in the um, video that will take you to the website and there you can see all the different readings on offer. Okay, let's get started. On Monday the 11th you have the moon and you can see the two pillars and that means to me a doorway. The divine or the angels they have given you a doorway to go through. There are things that you might not know so they might need some more research or revision. The moon also is a card that represents a Pisces so you might be meeting a Pisces or you might be doing something or need more information about a Pisces. The moon uh, also uh, means you're on the right path to your destination, the northern note and it shines light on your path but here we've got an eclipse, a solar eclipse so the moon is being blacked out by the sun so I love this card and this is the other side okay that is the the more of a traditional side and this is the other side so there are definitely things that are blocked and you need more information about that but you are on the right path so keep faith have faith listen to your intuition look at this the, the light of the divine she's holding the light of the divine and she's also holding an, an, uh, an offering bowl so you might have to offer something so listen to your intuition your emotions might be heightened at this moment and you might feel a little bit depressed because something is blocking your intuition or uh, sorry something is blocking you stopping you and so listen to your intuition that will help you okay to get further then we have the eight of stones the eight of pentacles your hard work is being realized at the moment okay you might start a new study you might get a promotion but it might be delayed with because of the moon uh, it might be delayed because of the coronavirus or something that you don't know because the office is closed or and you don't know um, that the boss is on holiday or whatever um, they could be some uh, your your employer could be on a business trip and you don't know what's happening or what is happening in the next week well let's see whether we can uh, find an answer to that in this reading but something is blocking so it could be anything but there is most probably a promotion um, something is coming your way definitely and you can't see it perhaps that is it um, or you might be starting a new study in the middle of the week you have the seven of cups and this is actually he's looking at all the cups and here he has the divine you've got the divine all around you Libra the face of the divine they are offering you they're seeing your wish they've heard your wish it's nearly there so don't worry uh, perhaps the divine is showing up um, because in in different signs these are different signs uh, to tell you that it is coming don't worry you've got number seven so luck is on your side don't worry don't have sleepless nights you're moving on from an eight to a nine so the end is near this is the nine of arrows and the arrows is the nine of swords so you are too much in your head perhaps 
look at him he's looking at the cups and offering um, talking to the divine or to an angel what can I do when is my wish coming true I'm worried I'm worried I don't know what to do I haven't got them enough information okay well what with this card you can make a visionary board and make a priority list and see which dream or wish could come uh, come to fruition quicker and don't get stressed out I know you've got a lot of wishes and a lot of uh, goals but take them one by one the divine is there to show you that one of your wishes is coming true sometimes you can only do so much you do have to be in action and start it off so that the divine does know what you are wishing for but make sure you wish uh, be careful what you wish for okay because the wishes do come true miracles haven't left the um, world yet and here you've got the queen of rods and she knows what she wants she's sitting here meditating manifesting what she wants she's got her eyes closed and she's a force to be not to be reckoned with Ooh, if she has something in her mind she'll go for it she'll manifest it she will visualize it she will meditate on it and she comes into action she's creative she's the fire sign look at her dress action it speaks out millions of words a, a picture says a thousand words this one does definitely she's wishing most probably for more power more money so she can do something with it this could be an Aries that you're meeting a Leo or a Sagittarius Libra and it could be you you could have fire in your chart and or you might have an idea that could be your queen of wands but you have an idea and you're going to take action on it and it will bring you money because you've got the ten of stones a home perhaps you're wishing for a home but the ten of stones is the ten of pentacles perhaps a reunion with family and friends perhaps to start your own business or um, yes I, s I said promotion recognition you have got the recognition just wait it might be delayed slightly there are things that you don't know so ask advice and uh, don't be scared to ask questions you can only get answers we've got a saying in Holland you've got no but you can get yes but something is coming to you towards you it could be an inheritance it could be a gift it could be a loan so that you can proceed in what you want and it most probably will be coming at the end of the week or the weekend because a 10 is an ending and a new beginning Wow you've also got the Queen of Pentacles and she is um, uh, she stands for fertility she's like Mother Earth she is known as Mother Earth also like the Empress okay she's got green fingers look at all the beautiful flowers around her and on at her feet and she sees things from a different perspective look at the hawk sitting on her uh, on her headdress now she stands for fertility birth child or a project a new job a house um, and um, she nurtures it and she lets it grow until it comes to fruition to blossom and then she will harvest it so she m is investing in something for durability and long term perhaps you might meet a Virgo or a Capricorn or a Taurus Libra or this could be you nurturing your idea that you want that you're wishing for okay you're taking action but you're also nurturing it wow and then you've got the knight the knight of bows and that's the knight of so uh, wands wow the fox and he's very analytical uh, well you've got the good side to the fox and you've got the bad side to the fox because a fox 
he sheds his hair, but he doesn't shed his fur. Oh, sorry, he sheds his fur, but not his streaks. And this is the this card is uh, I, I don't know. The pictures also speak words to me. You know, I also use my intuition and my gift. So there will be somebody um, that could help you, and that's what the queen does as well. She's very analytical. Both all the queens and kings are because otherwise they wouldn't have the status that they have. She knows how to invest and nurture, and she has to calculate when approximately something comes to fruition or what the chance is, so that she can set in a new crop once the other crop is finished. Because when there is an ending, there's also a, uh, also a new beginning. And this is the Knight of Bows. And that's the Knight of um, Wands. Sometimes I, I forget. <laughs> okay. Well, no, never mind. Because there's also arrows, and you need a bow to uh, shoot the arrow. So, no, I'm sorry, there's things always working ex over time with me, okay? I'm sorry. But it's better to get all the messages. So, nurture something. So, you might even meet, uh, again, um, a Sagittarius, Aries, or uh, a Leo. But the Queen of uh, Wands, she is, an, uh, she is the Leo. So, Leo is prominent here, okay? because the king is Aries and the page is Sagittarius the overall energy Libra is you you've got justice wow and justice will be done if you are in a judicial situation then justice will be done you'll get what you deserve and so will the other but it might this c could also be that you're not in balance so try to get your balance back and you will have it back at the end of the week and something will become clear because you have news coming in okay and also because there's a lot of cards saying endings and new beginnings so perhaps it is financial you'll get uh, clarity on financial issues perhaps you're claiming something if you're in a judicial situation and it will become clear to you that um, you've got recognition that you were right and honest okay Libra and then you have the guardian and the guardian is death you're in a transformational period so you're leaving the old behind and you're going into something new that's the all over energy there so it's quite prominent that there is a new beginning and it, it's going to be one of your dreams. Your wishes have been heard by the Divine. Now you've got the Coyote Spirit and it's 16, a 7 again. So you've got a 7 here and a 7 here. So there's that is also a sign from the angels. Mm. Two 7s is a double number and that your wish has been heard. Okay. The coyote spirit, trust in the divine detours. Do you find that you are being led on a strange detour in your life right now? Does it seem that what appears to be the right, the ne uh, what appears to be the next right action and the right choice, best situation or a fabulous relationship, unexpect unexpectedly? turns into the opposite or just disappears into thin air as if you've been tricked coyote spirit trickster energy is designed to bring you into situations to teach you lessons you have forgotten to learn now we've got the fox here and the fox really looks like a coyote as well and I said to you that you know this, these are the extra messages all that come in and when it starts working so there might be somebody and you've got the card of justice there might be somebody that's not quite honest because he sheds his fur, fur but not his tricks 
So perhaps that is what you have to learn, not to trust everybody. Listen to your intuition, the moon. Perhaps you need a taste of failure before you experience success. A need to feel disappointed before you can truly appreciate the joy, love and prosperity that is coming up for you. Perhaps you are revisiting a pattern you forgot wasn't in alignment with the life you are intending to co-create. Being reminded that gratitude, not complacency, will keep you awake and aware of all that is available to you in this moment to keep you awake. Well, if you are having sleepless nights, then that could be the issue. Coyote spirit reminds you to laugh about the unexpected twists, to develop hum uh, humility and gratitude while releasing your, your attachments to the form of your desires. Boom. So listen to that if you uh, if you haven't heard it now, listen to it again. I think that this is a real deep message, Lieber. I don't know if this is the th uh, the last couple of weeks, two weeks ago, your reading. Uh, I did your romance reading that took a life of its own, really. Even when you suddenly find yourself on a detour, wondering when you will get back on the track to manifesting what you desire. Remember that spirit has a plan and wants the best for you. Trust in the divine order now and the angels. Coyote spirit is a divine helper, no matter what seems to go astray. Things are exactly as they are supposed to be. So good luck with that. And your last card is surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. There you go. It's a beautiful card. Looks like a unicorn. It is a magical moment. So let people come to you. Whether it's a fire sign or an earth sign or Libra a Libra and other Libra because the Justice card represents Libra. So you are in your element. So let people come to you. Okay. Okay, Libra. I hope you've enjoyed your reading. I have because it's really been a deep reading to my amazement. Okay. I hope it resonates. If it doesn't, have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And I'll see you in the life or in the next video. Have a blessed week and stay safe. Please share and like and take care.